So this is the second part of the VTR tutorial and we're going to go over how to properly format your videos in Final Cut for the TV news show. Uh, so once you have the video in I show you HD and we've already recorded it, it's down here in the little thumbnail area. Um, open up Final Cut, get uh, Final Cut set up there and then right click on the video, reveal in Finder. Uh, so once we know where the video is, then we can just drag it right into our browser over there. And we'll close I show you HD because we don't need that anymore. Uh, the first thing we need to do, as you can see, we have a 4x3 canvas here. Uh, we need to set up our canvas so it's uh, appropriate for the TV or for the uh, control room. So right click on your sequence, settings, load sequence preset down here, click select, 1920 by 1080, uh, 60 frames a second. We export in 30 frames a second, but 30 is evenly divisible into 60, so it works for us for this particular application. Uh, so click OK, and we're good. Now drag the video into your browser. Find the quickest way to edit is scrubbing through and finding your in and out points. And we obviously don't want that lady like we said earlier, so we'll go back. You can press your left and right key to move one frame at a time, and then drag the video down. Uh, what I see a lot of people doing is bringing their entire video clip down. So they have this big long video clip and then they render it and then they're sitting around waiting for five minutes for it to render when for something this quick and dirty we don't need to do that. Um, just get, you know, get it in there. Find your end point. We obviously don't want that lady like I said. So here's the next end point. Scrub through. Find the next out point and there we go drag the footage down so now we have the video footage and uh, luckily this fits pretty well um, there are a little bit of black lines around the outside so to get rid of those we'll double click on it on the uh, video in the timeline and then up in the uh, the, the viewer in the motion tab the little scale setting here uh, we want to scale the video up until all of the black uh, I is gone Sometimes if it's a 4x3 video, there will be a lot of black on the sides or on the top and bottom. Uh, we need to get rid of that. If there are watermarks on the bottom, you can scale it up and down uh, until the watermarks are gone. And then if you need to move the video around, click on the this plus button here and you can physically move the video around to get rid of uh, any watermarks. So if you need to, you can scale it right up, click the center button, and then reposition the video in your... Um, in your window there. So we'll, we'll get this video back to normal here first. And scale it up a little bit more. So as you can tell, this is really distorting the video. The scale is 423%. Um, obviously, 100% is the same quality that we recorded it in. Um, but the, you know, we're dealing with secondhand video that we uh, stole from the internet uh, to begin with so the quality is not that great to begin with um, so here's the second video clip double click on it motion tab we need to get rid of these black lines again so scale it up and the position is pretty good um, so now we just need to add the uh, the five seconds of freeze frame um, that should be the last thing that you do once you've moved the video and gotten rid of the black um, if you do that first then after you position it uh, the freeze frame will not be the same as the actual video footage that you've adjusted. So adjust the video first, make the freeze frame, click on this, go up to modify, make freeze frame, and then in the viewer, change the duration to five seconds, and then you can just drag the video clip down. Uh, and then we can highlight these, slide them down, and then we'll go to the end here same thing modify make freeze frame so this is our freeze frame change the duration to five seconds there you go uh, and then that is our video so we have from five seconds to 24 so we have 19 seconds of video that's more than enough but we still want the the five seconds of pad on the beginning and end uh, so now we're going to render it out uh, go up to the file and export using the QuickTime conversion and the settings. The settings to render up the video are posted on the tables. They have green tape above them. And that is it for the second part of the VTR video tutorial.